So let's go ahead and talk about bias and gain now. So let's go take that out and uh, attach it to Voronoi. And again, this is just another really basic compositing node. And if you're familiar with any like photo editing programs, you'll understand what bias and gain is. Uh, you can consider this as like uh, brightness and contrast, bias being the contrast, intensity being the brightness. And you can use this to shape your terrain uh, and, and you know just by increasing certain values here to increase you know, details on the train in different areas based on the mask or overall. So let's start with intensity at zero. You can see with zero intensity, if you were to look at an image, all of this would be black. There wouldn't be any gray or white values. So there wouldn't be any uh, heights values to it. But as you slowly increase intensity, you'll start seeing those values popping up over time. And if you go to 100, it'll just do the exact same thing where everything's really white. And now we have a flat plane again. So uh, too much obviously is uh, going to be not good for your terrain if you want to have any kind of features. But not enough intensity is also not going to give you any features. So you got to you gotta really play around with that. Uh, make sure that it's not going to destroy your image. All right, so... We're going to set this to zero, and let's go ahead and play with bias. And this will be the contrast. And this will uh, change how uh, how much these features are pronounced. So rather than just the top-down values, this is going to be like what features are going to get more verticality and or steepness in certain areas. So if we go to zero, you'll see that we still have the height value at li at lower percentages than say we did with the intensity. But again, just like with intensity, zero is not going to give you anything, and too much is going to give you what looks like this. And either direction does not look good, so you got to kind of play around with it. Somewhere in the ranges of probably like 90% to maybe 90, negative 90 to positive 90, maybe. It just really depends on your image. So, uh, and again, as you can see, we can decrease the bias here, and it's uh, kind of flattening out the details, but keeping the overall shape because the intensity hasn't really changed. Um, but if we increase it, we still keep the overall shape. It's not that high. So we still have these features that we had in the original shape because of the intensity, but now they're just more pronounced in that way. So anyways, that is the bias gain. And again, you can use that with a mask. And you can use it to change uh, your masks around uh, depending on how uh, stark you want them to be. Uh, it can be really helpful with, an, again, another file input rather than one that you're making um, with using a different primitive. Anyways, that's bias and gain. We'll, we'll jump into the next one, which will be blur.